The motives behind the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's acquisition of a house on the Portuguese coast were still unknown when I revealed it last month. Why had the couple purchased their first home in Europe after King Charles had forced them out of Windsor's Frogmore Cottage at the beginning of the previous year? Now, it would be more obvious. If Donald Trump had returned to the White House, Prince Harry and Meghan might have been looking for a way out. Earlier this year, I received word from a royal source that the Sussexes were trying more and more desperately to spread their olive branches over the Atlantic. It came after the Trump family made a series of offensive remarks. We can expect to see more of Harry back in Britain in years to come. The same insider stated yesterday. When the president-elect's son Eric visited the Trump International Golf Links in Scotland in August, he referred to the Duke and Duchess as spoiled apples and repeated his father's assertions that Harry might be deported if the Republicans were elected. Those two are yours to have, Eric continued. They seem to be living on their own island. We might not want them anymore. In the past, Donald Trump has implied that Harry, who has resided in California since 2020, would not receive special privileges and would even face deportation if it turns out that he lied on his visa application. The prince disclosed in his memoir, Spare, that he had previously used substances such as cocaine, cannabis, and psychedelic mushrooms, all of which are normally grounds for a visa application to be denied under U.S. law. Because it was denied access to the Biden administration's private remarks to the judge, a conservative U.S. think tank tried to restart its legal action last month in an attempt to compel the Department of Homeland Security to reveal the prince's immigration records. After nearly two years of litigation, the judge rejected the earlier action filed by the Washington, D.C.-based Heritage Foundation in September, finding that there was not a compelling public interest in making the records public. Of course, Meghan and the Trumps have a history together. Meghan called Trump Sr. divisive and misogynist while she was still an actress. She stated that with Trump as president, she would rather remain in Canada than go back to her own America while residing in Toronto during the filming of the legal drama suits. It seems quite clear that the Sussexes are desperate to start healing the rift with the royal family. A royal employee who worked with the couple when they were still in the firm told me in August. The insider cited a series of recent stories from a publication that Harry and Meghan prefer as proof. In July, they published a piece describing Harry's frustration at his father's refusal to answer his phone and another asserting that his disagreement with Prince William was not irreparable. Following a February interview in which Harry implied that the King's cancer diagnosis would help them put their differences aside, these remarks were made. Throughout all these families, I see it on a day-to-day -day basis. The strength of the family unit coming together, Harry said after spending 26 hours with his father earlier that month. It is my belief that any affliction unites families. Nobody questions Harry's sincere worries about his father's health, of course. Since the government removed his automatic taxpayer-funded security when he left the royal family to live in the U.S., the prince has stated that Britain is too dangerous for his family. It seems that he is still eager to fight the high court's decision. The pair may have been able to obtain a so-called golden visa, which would have granted them passport-free entry into Europe's Schengen area, which consists of almost 30 nations, by purchasing their home in Portugal. For Meghan in particular, this might have been a big draw. Meghan planned to apply for British citizenship in due time, according to Kensington Palace, when the couple became engaged in November 2017. A spokesperson said that she will go through the process, which takes a number of years. Less than two years after their wedding, in March 2020, she and her husband left the country. Therefore, the plan was eventually shelved. Aside from making amends with the firm, Meghan would benefit from obtaining a golden visa if she and her husband decide to become the rival royals across the ocean, which would let them travel freely throughout Europe. They have already taken quasi-royal tours of Nigeria and Colombia, and they are planning other international travels. Portugal, which deposed its monarchy in 1910, may soon host a new royal court if the Sussexes feel that life in California under Trump is too uncomfortable.